Well, let's go see what those race baiting grifter commies are up to, and they're celebrating uh, Mike Brown. Mike Brown, everybody. He should be 28. If it wasn't for those white supremacist racist cops constantly hunting down black kids because they be black, Mike Brown would be alive today, turning 28, and being a space tronaut medical science engineer. Or maybe if he's in a predominantly black area, he would have been killed by other predominantly black white supremacist gang member thugs. Who knows, boys? I don't know. All I know is that uh, this is what the left was doing for two days. Oh, my God. Mike Brown, Mike Brown, Mike Brown. Mike Brown robbed a fucking convenience store, stole a whole bunch of cigarettes or um, one of those things that Tony Soprano cigars, cigar cigars. And then when the cop said, hey, did you just rob that store? He punched the cop and grabbed his gun. And then he got fucking blasted. But again, because lefties are shitheads, they need to make everything about race. And they need to tell black people to continue to fight cops. Normalize fighting cops. Don't do that, by the way. That's fucking stupid. But that's how the Democrats grift. The Democrats need who white supremacy. They need cops killing black people. So they will venerate criminals like... This idiot, or the, the idiot who was fighting cops and grabbed a knife, got shot in his fucking back, or fentanyl fucking Floyd, the, they'll celebrate all of these people and then make all of these uh, AIDS-riddled culture streaming shows saying, gotta have black kids have that talk with the kids with the kids so they don't get killed by the cops. It's, okay, don't fight cops. Don't grab their guns. You won't get fucking shot. But the Democrats love that. They love black kids getting shot because that's how they fundraise. So they'll try to get more of that. Here's how it's playing out in this gym, by the way, where this guy says, you know what? I've been listening to Cori Bush, right? I listened to that show about, hey, fuck you white people on that streaming service that hates white people. And they said, when a cop rolls up on me, I shot fight him. That's what I'm going to do. So this cop is called to this gym. He shows up to this gym. He's in the squat machine over here. And the guy says, oh, everything's kicking in. AOC, Cori Bush, Elon Omar. Fucking Joe Biden, they all told me that it's totally fine for me to fight you. Well, let's see how this plays out. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is just a genius tactician over here. Yeah. Let me just square up on this fucking cracker. Look at this cracker come up here. He can't even bench 225. So I'm going to flex on him. Yeah, that's, a, that's probably a dumb move because uh, that cop doesn't need to get into physical fisticuffs with you. By the way, that's just... just bop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. You're just gonna, you're just gonna scoop you right up. There you go. Yep, 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 yep. Don't need to bench 225 when I can drop 225 with some lightning. Welcome to Zeus Power, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, so that worked out real well. Fucking moron. But again, he's being told to do this. This is what black youth are being. This is black dudes are being told this. Black dudes, black chicks. They're being told. By all of these people who make money off of dead black people to fight cops. That's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Right? And every cop out there is a racist. Not every cop is hunting down black people. But that's what uh, ugly fuckers like this over here have to say so they can grift some more cash money out of these communities. This is Colin Rugg over here. Man tased at church. That's <laughs> a church. Oh, no. The Church of Iron. Jesus lifts back, boys. Uh, man tased at Crunch Fitness in Amarillo, Texas, after he squared up to fight a cop. Why? <laughs> Again, you sit there, you go, why would you do that? Well, he's been programmed to do that. His music, the television shows, the movies, the politicians he listens to, the mainstream media press, they all tell him to do this. It's bad. That's a bad idea. Because when he, if he would have got shot by that cop, all those same people would have been like, oh my God, I can't believe that this happened. It's because of a white supremacist racist cop. No, it's because he tried to fight a cop. Yeah. According to the gym staff, 40-year-old David Jones had punched a member of the gym the day before. Sir, you have been kicked out of the Woolworth and the Crunch Fitness. Why? Well, because you're punching people. Yeah, yeah, I know that Cory Bush says it's fine for you because you're black that you can just go punch people and you don't need to face ramifications, consequences of your actions because, again, you're black, right? So, uh, no, that's not how the real world works, and they want you out. So they revoked his membership. He said, well, hold on a second. I'm allowed to punch people in the face. 
And then the, the place says, okay, well, no, uh, leave. And he goes, no, you racist. I'm not leaving. And so they call the police. And the police say, listen, you've been trespassing now. All right, you're, you're, you you got to go. You had your membership revoked because you punched somebody in the face. And he says, no, I'm going to fight you. And then that's when he got 220,000 volts of pure electron Zeus juice right into his abdomens. And it dropped him like a sack of fucking potatoes. Now, this will all be called racism, 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 racism. Yeah, there's some racism here. I see a bunch of fucking assholes telling black people real bad, stupid shit to do. And it's getting black people killed. And then they make money. None of this is hard to figure out. Black people, you're getting got by these idiots over here. Thank you so much for watching the video support channel. If you want to be kept up to date with dudes getting tased like it's motherfucking Indiana Jones, boys, hit that subscribe button and make white because the salt must flow.